we'll guide you through how to download and install sealed shaders for Minecraft. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and leaving a like, and let's get straight into this guide. So the first thing you need to do in order to go and install sealed shaders is actually go and download something called Optifine for Minecraft and install it, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. But what Optifine actually is, it's basically a Minecraft op optimization mod. It's completely fine to run on any server, um, but what Optifine does, it allows you to go and run shaders. So I'll quickly go and show you how to do that. So go and open up any browser you would like. I just use Google Chrome, it's what I always use, and then go to a search engine and go and search for Optifine. So just type it in, O-P-T-I-F-I-N, just like so. Then make sure you go to the official website, which is optifine.net, and here we are. Then you need to go to the top and go and tap on downloads, just like so. And then if you want to go and see all the versions for Minecraft, then go, go and tap on show all versions, and you can go and get Optifine for any version. But just make sure you go and get the same shaders. I'll explain that in just a moment, but make sure they match up basically. So in this case, I'm gonna go and get the latest version, which is Minecraft 1.19.2, and I'm gonna go and tap download, just like so. And you will be taken to something called an ad wall or an offer wall, um, and just have to wait five seconds. This is an ad, so be very careful what you click. But in the top right, there's a counter, and then we can go and tap skip. And it's going to go and take us to the download page where you can go and tap on download and the download will begin. As you can see, it's only six and a half megabytes. It's tiny. And it is important to know that every browser is slightly different. So you may not go and find your downloads in your browser. You may need to go and open up your file explorer and go to your downloads folder. Now I'm just going to go and drag the Optifine installer onto my desktop just like so. And now all we need to do is go and double tap on it just like so. And what should happen is you go and get the Optifine installer pop up. But if you don't, do not worry at all. It's probably because you don't have Java installed or you have an outdated version installed. So all you need to do is open up your browser and go to a website called java.com. If you don't know what Java is, it's basically a platform that games run on and install using. So you do need to use it for Optifine and Minecraft is actually based off Java. That's why it's called Minecraft Java. So go and tap on download Minecraft Java, go and download it and install it. And then you'll be able to go and open up this file, but you may not be able to go and open up immediately. What you may need to do is go and left click on it just like so, then right click on it and you may need to go and click open with and then click choose another app and make sure you've got Java TM platform SE binary selected and then run it using that. You may have to do it the first time after you install Java as it may not pick it up, you should go and then it should go and run jar files with Java. Then all you need to do is go and tap install just like so and nothing will happen. You may think something's broken, but don't worry, that's completely normal. Then shortly go and get a pop-up saying Optifine is successfully installed and that's great. Now what you want to do is go and open up your browser once again. Then come back to a search engine and go and search for Silders shaders just like so and go and hit enter and make sure you go to the official website, which is a GitHub website, which is silders-shaders.github.io, and here we are. Then all you want to do is come to the left-hand menu here and go and tap on downloads, just like so. It will take a moment to load, and here we are. Then as you can see at the top, it's gonna go and tell us the supported Minecraft versions, and it's currently 1.7.10 um, and up to 1.19.2, and as we just downloaded the Optifine version for 1.19.2, that's gonna work great. Then we've got all the different versions down here. So as you can see, we've got light up to extreme. So this is gonna depend on your system. Honestly, if you've got a low end system, just try light. I do have quite a well spec system, but I personally just use medium anyway, because it still looks great. Um, and you know, extreme does look better, but it does make me lag a bit. So medium is fine for me. So go and tap on download on the one you like. And once again, you'll be taken back to another off wall and you just have to wait the seconds in the top right. And it's pretty much finished now. And now I can go and tap skip. And here we are, now we're on the Curse Forge website. Then all you want to do is scroll down and look under file details and it's quite small, but if we go onto the right hand side, we've got this download button. So go and tap download just like so. And then as you can see, the download will automatically begin. So just sit and wait and it should begin now, as you can see here it is. Now, all you want to do is go and find the zip folder. As I said, if you're using a different browser to me, just go and open up your file explorer and go to your downloads folder and you're gonna find it there. And then you can come and close off your browser. And you want to go and keep this on your desktop or just somewhere very easy, easily you can go and access it. Now let's go and open up Minecraft and I'll show you what to do next on the Minecraft launcher. Then once the Minecraft launcher loads, what you need to do is come to the left hand side of the play button and go and tap on latest release and make sure Optifine is selected just like so and then you can go and tap on play and Minecraft will launch with Optifine. So Minecraft is now launched and here we are and it does say modded and that does mean Optifine is installed. But as I said, Optifine is literally allowed on majority of servers. You can go and Google that yourself. Then what you need to do is go and tap on options, just like so, and then tap on video settings. And you're going to know Optifine has been successfully installed because it will say Optifine here. And then as you can see, we've got this option for shaders, which wouldn't have previously been there without Optifine. So go and tap on it. And as you can see, there's nothing in here currently. I need to go and tap on shaders folder, just like so. 
Then all you need to do is drag the Silders shaders in here, just like so, and there we are. Then you can close off the folder, and as you can see, they've now appeared. And if I go and press done, now when we go and load into a game, shaders will be there. So now let's get into a game and I'll show you what it looks like. And the game is just loaded and I set it to daytime and this looks absolutely incredible. And still the shaders do look really great and they really do enhance Minecraft. And as I said before, this is the medium pack, but there's higher and lower depending on your PC specs. And if you want to go and turn them off, then all you need to do is pause the game, go to options, video settings, shaders, then just go and double tap on off. And then Minecraft is going to go and reload just like so. And then I'll unpause the game. And as you can see, Minecraft is back to normal. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing. Peace.